Pawtucket voters deciding the fate of McCoy Stadium on Election Day. They approved a citywide ballot measure that will set in motion a plan to replace the ballpark with the city's first new school in more than 80 years. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera spoke to the city officials on the importance of the project. Adriana. Well, Cheyenne Tolman High School students will have a new home. Pawtucket is moving forward with a plan to build a new high school at the site of the iconic McCoy Stadium. And the mayor wants Rhode Islanders to know they plan to keep the iconic ballpark's legacy alive. That we move on from the McCoy. Signed, sealed, and delivered. The fate of McCoy Stadium was decided in a citywide ballot measure. 79% of Pawtucket voters approved issuing bonds to fund a new high school set to be built on the site of McCoy Stadium. Pawtucket Superintendent Dr. Cheryl McWilliams says Shea and Tolman are antiquated and a new school building is important to offer more opportunities to students. Because when all is said and done, we are trying to move education, public education forward in the city, and you need to have all the pieces. Mayor Don Grebian says the city will now meet with school officials to start pushing forward the development, but it doesn't come without a grieving process. Everybody understood it was going to be at this site. So I think everybody, as much as it hurt, has accepted that we move on from the McCoy. The mayor says he believes former Paw Sox owner Ben Mondor would support breathing new life into the stadium by building a school. The city is now tasked with keeping Mondor and the Paw Sox memory alive through the new high school. You know, is there a way that we could keep part of the building, maybe part of the field to keep the legacy? Pawtucket students can expect to step foot in their new high school in five years. The mayor says they expect the state to reimburse them for at least 85% of the funding for the project. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News. Tony, thank you. A citywide ballot question in Pawtucket has decided McCoy Stadium's future. Voters approved a measure to issue bonds that would fund building a new high school at the site of the iconic ballpark. 12 News reporter Adriana Rosas Rivera spoke to city officials on what comes next for the project. A proper goodbye. That's what Pawtucket Mayor Don Grebian wants for McCoy Stadium as its last days loom. And the city moves forward with keeping its legacy alive while breathing new life into the site. So first, it's a sigh of relief. McCoy Stadium will be a thing of the past. Pawtucket residents spoke up on Election Day, with 79% of them approving ballot question four to replace the iconic ballpark with a new high school, ushering in a new chapter for Pawtucket. I think everybody, as much as it hurt, has accepted that we move on from the McCoy. And I think we have to balance the history, the legacy. Grebian says he too feels nostalgia associated with McCoy, and they hope to find ways to keep its history alive. Grebian hopes they can keep part of the building or field and incorporate it into the new project. The new school will merge Shea and Tolman High Schools. Pawtucket Superintendent Dr. Cheryl McWilliams says the move will be a highlight for the community. Also serve its purpose for our students, because when all is said and done, we are trying to move education, public education forward in the city, and you need to have all the pieces. This will be Pawtucket's first new school in more than 80 years. For Mayor Grebian, a new school is a great way to honor former owner of the Paw Sox, the late Ben Mondor. I think he'd be supporting us 100% saying, it's right to invest in our education, our schools, our buildings are challenged, so I think everybody would agree it's the right step, next step. The mayor says it will take at least five years to complete the project, and he expects the city to get at least 85% of the funding reimbursed from the state. Live in studio, I'm Adriana Rosas Rivera, 12 News.